Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 11. Inside this video session guys, we are going to settings of our theme templates file. So as in the next previous video, we have created the files called index.php, head.php, functions.php and footer.php. So inside this video, we are going to do some settings of all these files and we will make this theme working as a perfect layout. So right now there is no CSS attached as well as no JavaScript files attached. This is a static content what actually we have copied from index.html file and pasted inside this index.php file. So what I will do, go inside this index.php press ctrl b and I am going to cut this navigation bar means inside this index.html we have here a body section after that we have a nav tag so I am going to cut all these files from here open up the file called header.php and I am going to paste all the contents inside this file now next this is all about we have a container for the page content and after that we have a footer. So I am going to cut after all the contents of this container means the footer section. Go inside this footer.php and I am going to paste all the contents inside this. To format the HTML code simply press Ctrl Shift I of this Visual Studio code. This is the shorthand key to format our HTML code. So simply we have now separated header.php as well as footer.php. Now go back to this header.php file. Now inside this file, we are going to call our function for the language attributes here. So let's say php language and the IntelliSense say that this is our WordPress function. So that's why we have enabled the last video extensions to use this shorthand. So next, this is our character set. So here, simply let's say echo. We are going to use the blog info function, and here it is. Inside this, simply pass title here. Now next, this is not title actually. This is character set. Here inside this title tag, we are going to again use let's say PHP echo let's say blog info and here inside this we are going to pass our title key. Now here we have some CSS files and these CSS files actually we need to call inside our functions.php. So what I will do press ctrl b open up functions.php now inside this let's say that function simple underscore bootstrap underscore theme let's load scripts now this is the function which we are going to call let's say add action inside this wp and q scripts this is the action hook which is going to attach our assets file so copy that function and pasting it here now inside this we are going to use to load our css files so let's say css files wp in QA script, this is the function we are going to use and the IntelliSense about the like it's the function declaration parameters so here we have called first of all we need to pass our handle something called the CSS ID so if we go to header.php so we are going to include our bootstrap file so what I will do go here let's say that bootstrap and after that we need to pass our path so before passing our path if I back to folder structure this is all about the CSS and the vendor folder of this downloaded theme so go here copy these folders back to our WooCommerce theme development WP content themes and this is our theme and to create a folder called assets and pasting all those two folders inside it if I back to editor, press Ctrl B, go inside this theme and here we have 
the assets folder what we have created. Also this editor intelligence says that here we have our error and error is inside functions.php and here it is. So I am to put semicolon. Now let's say that next we need to attach this CSS file. So if I copy this path, go to functions.php, let's say get template directory URI press control B and this function is going to return the path up to this theme called simple bootstrap theme. Now next we need to attach our CSS so this is our CSS putting a forward slash here and also if we want to enable our toggle feature go inside this view and pressing this toggle word wrap simply if suppose we have a long text it is going to auto break and writing it here. So this is all about the path. Inside next parameter we need to pass our dependencies array. So let's say that right now there is no dependency. Next we need to pass our version as we can see here. So let's say that 1.0 as a dummy version number. Next we want in footer. So actually I think that this is a CSS file. So we need to use WP and Cree and we need to use style here because this is a CSS file not JavaScript file. So the wrong functions actually we are using. So here inside this we need to use all here. All means that we are using this bootstrap theme for all devices. All we have done about in queuing this style. So this is the first style what we have done with this. So get rid of that. Next we need to attach this bloghome.css. Again go here let's say wp nq style nq underscore style and here it is. Inside this we need to pass these parameters so simply get rid of that. Let's say that we are going to attach blog home git template directory uri so simply click on this function and after that we are going to call this file so copy this file path go inside this functions.php pasting it here and put a forward slash after that we have dependencies array so putting an empty array next we will have a version so let's say 1.0 and finally a law for all devices so this is the blog home css file now next i am to attach style seats file it means style.css inside this functions.php so what i will do wp in q style and let's say that here this is our theme style and we are going to use get style seat and here we have the function called get style seat uri it will return the style.css file path next and to declare our dependencies so no dependencies next we have let's say version so 1.0 and i'm going to allow for all devices so here we need to pass all value so successfully we have attached all CSS files of our simple bootstrap theme. Now go inside this header.php file, get rid of all these things and we are simply calling a WordPress function called php inside this wp underscore head. It is going to attach all the contents what actually we are supplying at the header position. Now if you save this change, go here, reload this page. Now right now all the contents of our what we have inside this index.php this is a container only so first we need to include our header so let's say that inside this we are going to call get header function and inside that footer let's say that get underscore footer now if we save this change back here reload this page and as we have included header and footer so I think that style sheets are not working so press ctrl u scroll down and if I search let's say for a bootstrap 
and I think that it is not working it's because we have moved all the CSS files inside this assets folder but we haven't included inside this file path so we need to let's say that assets so copy pasting it here save these changes reload this page here and if we go and search let's say for bootstrap CSS click on that and here is the content again if I reload this page and our theme is now perfectly working here we have the header here we have the footer and in between header and in between these header and footers we have all about our content area if I back to editor go inside this footer.php so here we have a to JavaScript link so we need to create and also associate with this functions.php so what I will do go here let's say that JS files simply we are going to use called in script what you are using for attaching our style sheets file inside bit seconds so inside this we need to pass our handle so go to footer so we need to use and attach the bootstrap bundle.mean.js because as we had also understood that the jquery is by default provided by wordpress so simply copy this path go to this functions.php and let's say bootstrap here we have get template directory uri function after that we are going to call our assets folder and here is the path next we will have called dependencies so we are going to use the jquery dependency of wordpress in the next we have the version so it is 1.0 and next that is we want at the footer position means we are going to bind this file at the footer so we need to pass this true value here and also if we want to understand that how we have passed jquery here so keep in mind guys wordpress provides many of the javascript plugins file by default so we are going to use a inbuilt plugin file that is jquery file so how can we find this file back to wordpress setup go to wp includes click on chase jquery and here is the file so we are using inbuilt jquery file of wordpress it means that we are not going to include any third party library files or cdn links for jquery file so back to editor this is all about attachment of bootstrap bundle.mean.js back to footer get rid of all these contents and we are going to call wp underscore footer to call all the contents what we are placing inside this footer so this is all about header and this is all about footer so go here reload this page reload this page and we are now successfully integrated our bootstrap theme inside wordpress and also after including this wp footer if i remove this save this change reload this page and as we can see that we have now no wordpress admin bar available but when we include this function wp footer reload this page and as we can see that here we have a wordpress bar admin bar available so inside next video guys we are going to make the navigation menus what we have inside this theme as the dynamic navigation menus what we will create inside our wordpress setup so inside this video session guys if you met out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day